this just came out remove all this junk hey guys welcome back to the channel as i uh, said in the previous video that i found a new oil ring that is on this uh, engine uh, which i think may fix so i will change in this video and i will show you how to do it and also if this thing will not uh, solve the issue of oil leakage then i will more dig into this problem and find more things sorry for the surrounding noise because there is a lot of construction works going here and there around the area where i am working right now so please uh, ignore that so this solution i found on the youtube i will put up a photo on the screen so i seriously thank you them but uh, one problem i faced is that uh, that uh, this video is in uh, malayalam or any other language uh, not in hindi or english so i just have to learn through this video only i can not understand anything but i understand by seeing only the video that uh, there is one ring also on there i will show you this is the ring i show i was talking about i am changing this ring inside this engine part number is 11627130 in the previous video of uh, fixing this oil leakage issue i just changed the oil ring of this uh, distributor uh, there is a small oil ring i will show you if it is possible when i am removing that only but i did not change this one so in this video i will uh, do that so let's get going and we have to remove these first two bolts this is i think uh, 6 mm uh, maybe and then we have to remove uh, these smaller ones there is a three one two and uh, uh, another is uh, behind this uh, as you can see uh, right there that is uh, the third one and we will just uh, slide it out and this is the adapter plate which has also been slide out and there is a, a oil ring in here this oil ring provides the seal between these two parts and i think there is a leakage in this uh, between these two parts only so we will solve this today so first of all we will remove this uh, spark plug wires so just uh, push out them from the distributor this is the main uh, wire which comes from the electric coil just keep it aside like that remove the other two as well and keep it aside this one also so we have the clear area right here now so let's start removing uh, we need a 12 mm uh, socket and the extension and just use the ratchet and remove it Similarly, the bottom. So remove this uh, bottom uh, bolt also. This is a little bit tight space to work. Also, try not to lose these washes because this is the distributor and this is the timing assembly with which we can adjust the timing of the spark that can happen inside the combustion so this is an important part so keep it at a safe place same goes with the lower bolt also so this is a lot of oil as you can see the oil is coming on my hand right now if I, if I just uh, wiggle it out then it will came out of the this part so this is the ring which i uh, changed in the last video i forgot to uh, show you and if you can see there is a little bit of leakage from here i don't think there is any seal or any gasket is there on here because both the surface is clean so remove this coupler i hope i don't broke it now it's good if you are thinking why these parts don't have the gasket with it so that the oil leakage can't happen it's because uh, their surface finish is so good that they don't require any external gasket they provide the seal itself and if you can see that there is a very dirty surface here uh, this can happen because uh, atmosphere and also the car sits outside the rain so if you can see there is a lot of dusting here on the surfaces which has to be clean and i will clean that also 
keep the distributor also in a safe place so that you don't drop it and don't break anything on it so now we have to remove these three bolts uh, which will separate this part from the engine so before you remove this clip just be careful that you don't uh, leave the key in the uh, ignition position or else this uh, radiator fan will get on itself and remains on it it requires 10 mm this tool so just remove it another one right here this is another one so this is getting uh, this is slipping right now so i will use this one if the tool starts to slip on this uh, bolt then stop it right, right there don't use it too much uh, get something like this like this uh, box socket uh, in india it is called box socket this will grab the bolt form for uh, all the sides and that's why it will not slip and it will remove it if the bolt pattern will be damaged then it will be difficult to get out so be careful with that also so remove all three bolts So I will, this just came out and you can see that there is a ring right here. This is a ring which I am going to replace and also there is, should be some gasket on this part to give a good fill between uh, this part and this part but company do not provide that. So instead I will use a RTV or a gasket maker. So first I have to remove all this junk and then I have to clean it with petrol or anything and then we will also clean this surface as well and also the distributor and then we will put everything back so first uh, let's clean the everything and then we will uh, wash it with petrol try to scrape this uh, thing with uh, your hand or the nail uh, it can be, it will come off easily so or you can do just uh, uh, wrap the cloth around your nail and then you can also scrape it off you need a uh, scraper but i don't have so i am using this thing also don't forget to clean here also also one tip try to clean it till here everything from here to here so that no particle will came in between these two surface while uh, putting them back again and also don't cause this problem again so that's uh, one thing i want to share with you now on this thing the main mating surface is this as you can see so i will uh, try to clean clean that off so this is the thing this is the rtv So scrape it very goodly this uh, stuff can get in uh, in very small spaces easily so try to remove it from everywhere and also this ring just like that keep it aside or you can throw it also we can we are not going to use it anymore clean this seal area also very properly because if the seal will not uh, make a proper seal with uh, this body then also leak happen if that makes sense so i have this uh, small container i have put the petrol uh, petrol inside it and i am put the part in it so I'll just uh, let it agitate uh, properly inside the petrol and then I will remove it. If you can need then add more petrol so this whole part get properly soaked by the petrol. I cleaned uh, the surface this which goes uh, upon this and that area. So 
this arrangement keep in mind because once we uh, apply the RTV then we don't have to put this area after uh, setting on it so we have to put it uh, like this position only then only we get get a proper fit that's also an important thing about the RTV which we are using so I also clean the distributor uh, this part is also clean this is very smooth right now I have to just uh, clean it with a clean cloth one, once then I will put back it again and this is your ring which I replaced in the previous video so that's all it uh, so let's get back to uh, installing them I'll show you how to uh, put RTV on the on the surfaces and also how to put the ring I'm going to use this uh, uh, high temperature RTV because this is a high temperature area and uh, so uh, it should have a gasket maker uh, that's all uh, you don't have to see uh, look any other stuff uh, as you can see on this this can be used on any anything so first uh, clean the clean this part with a, a clean cloth it and everything properly if you see uh, if these marks are uh, properly leveled or not you just have to uh, put your nail and uh, slide it across if you feel anything uh, disturbing then you have to clean it properly if not then uh, just leave it it's just a, a mark on this metal so I am not feeling anything uh, it is properly very smooth surface and also clean your hands first because you don't want to get that uh, clean part again get dirty this is the new ring this is the part number I take this uh, oil from the uh, dipstick uh, then just put it on this uh, oil ring so it will lubricate itself and sit inside the gap properly take the part and put it like that so this is fitted so this is the RTV you have to just open this up don't open with hand because it is a possibility that hand can be dirty so they gave this pointy thing on it just poke it inside and it will create a hole and put uh, RTV on one of any surface that, uh, if you put that and don't put on it on this thing and uh, if you put uh, on this thing then put, don't put on that uh, you got the point right so I think I will put on this surface so now I am putting this RTV put a good amount of heat on it get one of the bolt and put it back like that and try not to wiggle it too much put other two bolts as well So why I replace these two bolts because this is little bit uh, uh, damaged uh, as you can see there is a slippage of the tool here and it can be difficult in that place because it is a little bit cumbersome area that's why I just replace it because this is uh, easy to reach and easy to open up we tight this bolt so we will just tight it with hand first it with a wrench don't tight it uh, too much just handful that's okay that's enough
and don't forget to put the cap on it because it can solidify this RTV and it will be no use and also clean up the excess that comes out here don't use the uh, clean cloth use the rough cloth or the dirty cloth and so that's all about the putting the gasket back and I will uh, see if there is any leakage again then I will go back to the garage and I will try to see if, uh, if the engine block itself is cracked or anything then we will see what we can do after that so let's just put everything back and I will meet you then so there is this grill like structure uh, which is going to be like that it will be uh, facing downward and it will be attached like that so you have to remove uh, you have to remove this uh, cover to put this back again because uh, this will control the inside that part uh, here uh, if you can see the u shape part and it will have to be uh, lined with the uh, engine shaft so to do that you have to uh, rotate that and with this cover on you can't able to do that so you have to remove that also uh, it's just uh, two bolts uh, like this small uh, just remove it and you will get that and then uh, don't tie these two bolts because we have to adjust the timing of that also uh, and I will show you how to do that also so now the one thing I forgot to mention that it is written on the packet of the RTV that uh, uh, join the mating surfaces together and tighten to the desired torque and full cure in 24 hours so the RTV packet says that the fuel cure of the RTV takes about 24 hours so we don't have to start the engine uh, anything do with that keep it like that for 24 hours so uh, the timing thing we, we are going to do tomorrow but I know the position a little bit as I removed it so I will just uh, try to set uh, very near to that position and then I will just bolt everything down uh, when you put the spark plug wire again back then uh, you can uh, just uh, look for the uh, wire number there is a number written on it uh, like there is a 4, 3 then there will be 2 on this wire also uh, somewhere on it uh, 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 right there there is a 2 and obviously this is the one so and also if you can see uh, there is a numbers given on that uh, there is a 3 3 1 2 and 4 so plug the wire according to the number then only the firing order will match with the engine running system and then only the engine will run properly so uh, you have to put the uh, this is a 3 number wire as you can see so I will put in the 3 number hole like that and there is a 2 return here and there will be 4 short because this is a 1, 2 and 3 then 4th will be that only just plug it in then so I will put the second number wire in second number hole and 4th wire number in 4th number hole so uh, this is how it's done so now I uh, tied everything up uh, this is everything buttoned up everything is tight uh, I, I have to just uh, check the timing uh, back tomorrow but after 6 uh, 6 p.m. because I applied this at uh, 5 30 so after 24 hours is 5 30 p.m. tomorrow but I will check for 6 just for better precaution and till then I will not start the engine any at all uh, I will let the cure let it cure properly so that it pack properly and the uh, oil will not leak uh, back again so that's with all the all this process and uh, i'll see you uh, tomorrow uh, we will start the car and adjust the timing so this is the next day after 24 hours uh, i will start the car and uh, we will see if the timing is off then we will adjust it and uh, i will top up the uh, engine oil because uh, in this process the little bit oil just uh, came out out of the engine and uh, i think uh, due to leakage the oil is already really low and after doing this process it's become more low so i will just add a little bit i bring the oil with me so i will show that also let's start the engine i think the timing is very proper 
let the engine little bit warm so you have to just uh, loose these bolts not have to remove uh, totally uh, just loose it so that you can rotate it uh, if i rotate it fully this way then engine will uh, lean and if i rotate it that way in that direction then the rpm of the engine will be rise very much so you have to get the soft spot so that the engine run properly and also uh, give a little bit of uh, acceleration it will be stronger this is proper i'll just go a little bit more a little bit more like that that is the sweet spot i think i this is will work for me you will get for yourself and it will done then just uh, tight this bolt you set the timing of the uh, sparks totally very good very fine so uh, let me tight my tight the bolts first tight the bolt carefully so that the setting you uh, made doesn't get changed That's good. That's so this is the oil, twenty W forty. There is a very good science behind these numbers. If you know, then let me uh, know in the comment section. I will make a separate video explaining how this the numbers works and what type of oil you will need. So. I will top up the oil. So to know how how, how much oil, just first remove the dipstick, then clean it, and then again re, uh, insert it. So I first get the cloth, first remove the dipstick, then clean it with the cloth. Because as we run the engine, the oil is splattering inside, and the dipstick will show more than full. So first clean it, then again reinsert the dipstick, and then remove it again. so that's the oil so it is a half so i have to fold till this line so i will add some oil so put it back again so one thing you have to uh, very carefully you have to do not add more oil than that uh, top line if you add it then you have to remove it so just add little bit check it add little bit and check it and get it done If you like this video, if you gain some knowledge at least, then please like the video, share it with your friends, and please subscribe the channel because uh, I think also I am speaking with if speaking in English language, maybe that's also the problem because people are not watching the video uh, uh, till end. It's just uh, watching a few minutes uh, before and then they leave. So please uh, watch the full video, and if there anything you uh, think I should. Uh, Change or increase or anything like I know that video quality is not good, sound quality is not good because uh, I am using this uh, little small home camera. I will uh, I will work on it. If you say comment down in the comment section, I will read a bit uh, comments and so that's how we communicate. So and also you can suggest me on uh, Instagram also if you don't want to comment in uh, YouTube. I know. I'm also a little bit OG. I don't comment on every uh, video I watch, so you can also uh, just uh, drop the DM, uh, drop the message in the DM uh, in Instagram. I put the links and everything in the description also for the Instagram for my personal in Instagram, also the channel's Instagram also. So you can go there also and do uh, do the DM me. So that's all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. So see you till next video. Peace out.